Now that we have a default dialog assigned to our NPC Sven, the next thing we're going to want to do is update our journal after we talk to him and receive the quest. In order to do that, we will bring up the journal editor. And over here under Launch Day Crisis, the name of our mod, we're going to start by creating a quest category. The quest categories will appear, appear in the journal as uh, collapsible sub-items. So you can add multiples of these. We're just going to add one. We're just going to call it uh, LDC main quest. And for the description, we'll just give it something very simple like main quest. And you'll see in the journal when we get our first quest, it's going to be under a section called main quest. If we wanted to, we could add um, additional ones. Let's say you had a uh, category for uh, companions or other things that are going on. You might want to create uh, different sections within your journal. I'm only going to have one for now. Uh, for instance, if you look at uh, Origins, they have several categories such as My Story So Far, My Companions. They have another category for each chapter. Uh, for this demonstration, one is plenty. After we have a quest category, we can go and create one of our quests. We'll click the plus here. Don't worry about this. We'll change this in a minute. So for our, our quest ID, we're going to call this uh, power outage. And for the title, we will call it uh, launch day crisis. LRN. Under the category ID, we can now use a drop down menu to reassign this to the one that we created previously under the categories. This is the main quest, so we'll set it to true. And for broadcast level, we'll just keep it to character. So whichever character um, gets the quest, we'll see it in their journal. And we will just save this for a minute. Now that we've created this quest, we can add particular states for it. So if you have multiple steps within a quest, you can create multiple states. I didn't need to create more than one right now, so I'll get rid of that one. So for our new state, for the first status ID, we will just call this uh, quest received. And for the description, this is where you will get the text in the journal. Uh, not a very good user interface for entering this. It would be nice if they had uh, a bigger block where you could see your text better. So it's usually easier to just put it into some kind of word processor and copy and paste it. So that's what I did earlier. I'm just going to copy what I had. And this is what will appear in the journal. It's launched at Larian Studios, but they have lost power. Sven has asked me to retrieve a working generator to get them back up. So we'll enter that. And that's really all we need at this point. Uh, there are other things we can do with quest markers and reward treasure tables, but uh, we're not going to get into that right now. We just kind of want to see the journal get up and running. So this is our journal, very simple. Uh, we have one quest. We have one state in that quest, quest received. And we're going to want to see that appear uh, when we finish talking to Sven and accept the quest. Now for the next part. And before we move on to our next step, which is going to be making some changes to our story, you do want to take a note of these IDs that we created. So we created our main quest name here is power outage. That's the ID name that we gave it. And the status ID that we used was quest received. We're going to want to remember these when we go and modify our story. So to modify our story, we will bring up the story editor. And one thing I want to show you really quickly is that we'll be making use of some shared libraries that uh, Larian has provided for us. If you were to open up this global journal helper, you'll see that there are there's uh, quite a bit of code in here in order to help with the maintenance of a journal. Uh, thankfully, we don't have to become um, 
intimately acquainted with everything here. We're actually just going to be making use of this one little database call here called db underscore request def underscore state. What happens here is whenever you call this and you give it a couple of string arguments, it's going to take those arguments and it's going to prepend it with the name quest date update underscore and then the two strings that we gave it. Uh, we'll come back to this in a minute, but it's basically going to create a long flag out of the information that we get, give it, and then it's going to do some internal um, database maintenance for uh, future use. But in any case, this is what we're going to be using. Uh, there is some documentation about how this works on the wiki, and we're going to move on to create our own individual story script for our adventure. So I'm going to add a new sub, sub, sub item under the start script. We're just going to call it uh, LDC underscore journal. Now the first thing I'm going to add in the init section of our script here is something that's necessary only because we don't have real character creation. If you look at the journal helper functions, um, a lot of them do things like check to make sure that um, whoever is getting a flag set on them is a player. By default, since we have a pretty bare bones adventure here, um, none of this has been assigned to the player yet. We don't have character creation going. So one of the things we're going to want to do is we're going to want to tell the story that the dummy creation characters we use in the tool set here are players. So in order to do that, I do this DP is player. I start typing in dummy. Then I can, can hit control and spacebar. And we will just use the completion to select this character creation dummy 001. This is what will get created when you have a single character in the tool set and you don't have any other kind of uh, elegant character creation going on. So we'll add that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make use of those DB quest state interfaces and we're going to add one here. And now what we need to do is we need to give it two arguments. We want to give it the argument of our quest name and our quest state. So if you remember before, I said to keep track of the values we had put here for our quest name and quest state. So we're going to want to give it these two values. We're going to use power outage. And we're going to use quest received. save and we'll build and reload. Oops, I forgot one thing. So if you look back at the quest state here, um, there is also a third argument. A one indicates that uh, we want to add the entry to the journal. If you don't have a one here, um, if I were to just have dbquest def underscore state and a couple of um, arguments here, all it would do is it would update the, the, um, the quest state. We need to have a one in order to add the entry. Uh, if you want to close out the quest state so that it's finished, you would put a minus one. And again, you can look at the wiki, it explains uh, some of this. And when we're done, this tutorial will see all of these. But uh, that's all we should need for now. Let's make sure we have the right one. Alright, so now what we're going to want to do, uh, actually before I move on I'm going to go over one more thing. So let's remember what this is doing. So as I explained, when you make this call it's going to create a flag. And it's going to create a flag that looks like this. It's going to be this, 
and then it's going to add these two with an underbar underneath it. So it's going to create some flags that look like this. This is important because if you ever want to have this uh, quest journal entry fire within the game, this is the flag that you're going to want to set. And as we move on to our conversation, this is the flag we're going to use in our conversation to make the journal actually trigger. So let's revisit our dialogue that we have that we created for Sven and cause our journal entry to trigger. If you remember, it was NPC Sven. And we bring that up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this. If we accept the quest, this is no longer going to be the end node. We'll have Sven reply with one more a uh, bit of dialogue, and this is going to be an answer. And in here, we'll have him basically give the quest directions. We'll just enter his, his enter in his reply right here, and assign that to the text. This is going to be an endnote. And now here's where we're going to do the magic to set the quest. You'll notice that um, there are node flags on each node. And if we stretch this out a little bit, you'll see that there's flags to check and there are flags to set. Flags to check are what you would do on the front of the nodes to indicate whether or not you want that node to show up. So for instance, that's where you could do things like check to see um, if a quest had already been started. You might want to change what the greeting is. We'll do that later. Um, at this point we don't have any flags set, so we don't really have any to check. So what we're going to do is we're going to do flags to set. We'll hit edit, and we're going to add a character flag. Now there aren't any here yet, because um, we haven't created any. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that flag that we said was going to get created by the db underscore quest def call, and we're just going to add that. So if you remember that DB call created a flag called quest update underscore power outage underscore quest received. So now we added that. And you'll see that what's going to happen is if we check this, then this flag is going to get set on the group players. So the one that is talking to Sven in this case. And get rid of the stub. And this should be it. So we'll save this. And we'll go talk and see what happens. Actually, in this case, before I talk to him, I'm actually going to relo reload the project. I've noticed sometimes that when you make changes to the journal um, and you reload it, it doesn't necessarily take. I might be doing something wrong, but at this case, just to be safe, I'm going to reload the project. Go to our level. If we just hit start right away, go to our character, talk to Sven. Except when the conversation ends, we should get the journal update. And there it is. If we look at it, you remember here's our quest category, main quest. That was the name we gave it. Launch day crisis at Larian. That was the name of the uh, quest that we added. And then this is the first quest state that we created, the quest received. It's launched at Larian Studios, but it lost power, so on and so forth. So that's it. Um, from here on, we will just add more to the quest, and we'll continue to see it get updated until it finally gets resolved. And hopefully that was helpful.